Hi guys, good morning, how are you? Um, hope everybody's doing well and uh, today I'll be making a video about this laptop I received from Alienware. This is Alienware M14. This is their 2013-2014 model. This is a new uh, version of their M14 series. I believe they did not have M14 before, they used to have M11, M11X. So this is basically the replacement for M11. They don't have M11X anymore. And um, this is going to be uh, the replacement. It's called M14 R1, Revision 1. I know they have an old M14 series. I believe it was called M14X. And that was, um, I believe that was uh, between 2011 and 2012. So I guess this is a successor to that model. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, the reason why I bought this laptop, it's not for, I did not buy it for gaming. I know a lot of people buy uh, Alienware laptops for gaming. Um, but I think for, to truly get a good gaming experience, you need to have a desktop, um, you know, a desktop computer because again, you get a lot more value for your, uh, for your dollar and the parts are much better. And you can truly um, enjoy a good gaming experience on a la on a desktop, um, you know, with games like Battlefield 4, Crisis 3. If you play Crisis, uh, I only play Battlefield 4, but um, I think you get a lot more bang for your buck in the desktop segment. All right. So the color we're seeing here, this is actually the default Alienware color for uh, for this laptop. It's uh, it's pretty nice. It's actually charcoal silver I believe uh, it's not fully black but you know under depending on what kind of uh, light you look at I mean I guess <laughs> what angle you look at it from uh, the color does look lighter and darker so um, I wouldn't call it gray but I think it's charcoal uh, gray uh, overall this laptop is um, pretty pretty heavy I would say you know about six pounds the size is a little bit deceiving here I mean it looks a very it looks like a very small standard uh, it looks like a very small laptop maybe like a 13 inch laptop but it does weigh quite a bit comparatively um, so let me show you the outside of this laptop um, again the screen is measured diagonally 14 inch but once I open the laptop up you will notice why um, it's not a standard size laptop because they just don't include the screen size. There's another, um, there's another layer of section that's on the bottom of the screen, and that adds more, uh, more depth to the laptop, I guess you can say. <clears throat> so looking from the back side here, um, you notice that this is your, uh, this is your exhaust vent, and here is your power supply. Uh, power connector. Uh, Dell actually sends you a 150 watt power supply for this laptop. And on the side here, if I put my finger, you can probably see how thick it is. Um, I would say this is about, uh, it looks like about inch and a quarter for the thickness. If you go to the side here, you have all your ports. You have um, I believe that's a Kingston lock port, the first one here. You have your uh, Thunderbolt port here, or mini display port, you can say, I guess. You have your HDMI, you have your uh, USB 3.0, you have USB 2.0, you have your microphone, headset, and I guess um, a headset with a built in microphone, you know, this third one here. Jack, I wonder who would uh, who would use that. I, I don't know. I've never seen many models with that functionality. I know there's a few at work I have, but uh, for home use, I've not seen many. Actually, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to buy this laptop because I do um, I did not want to buy a regular uh, standard home laptop because of the options. I know Alienware has fantastic warranty. The warranty is better than Dell laptops. Uh, they do give you one year on-site warranty on their laptop so if anything happens to the ceiling where they'll actually come to your home and repair it for you that was one of the biggest uh, reasons why I went with Alienware and not Dell or HP I know HP business units that we use at work do have on-site but uh, again 
those laptops are uh, the quality is not that great all right so this is your uh, left side here on the right side you have space for your speakers and if I turn it around you have your uh, killer network um, network card I guess you can say or uh, killer network um, hardware you have again your USB 2.0 and you have a slot loading uh, CD-ROM drive and uh, SD card reader <coughs> now um, the back side I will go through the back side I guess the back side is uh, user serviceable I have opened it twice so far to replace the hard drive and just look at the internals of the laptop uh, all you need to do to uh, open up the back is just remove these two screws here one over here one over here and pull the latch forward and then lift it up all right so I will show you now how the inside is of this laptop here okay now here is your uh, main screen well I guess your screen uh, you have your camera on the top there uh, I've never used it so I actually don't know the specs on that I think it's a 2.0 2 megapixel camera I could be wrong but I think that is what's, uh, what it stated now this unit I did buy this unit for about uh, 950 US dollars it was bought uh, refurbished and I'll go from uh, Alienware and I'll go over the specs as well now refurbished units come with the same warranty uh, regular units come with the only thing is that um, you do have uh, the return period is is less so let's take a look at the screen here this is actually a 1080p high-resolution screen IPS panel you have, the HP, you have the Alienware logo here. Now as you notice, the screen size is 14 inch, but as I mentioned before, that this extra space here, that actually adds more, uh, I guess more of a dimension to the laptop. It could have been smaller if they removed this portion here, but uh, this contributes to the size as well. Uh, on this side here, you have your power button, LED and power button, uh, nothing over here, but if you look over here, you have your, oh, too much light. You have your uh, indicators for caps lock, wireless, and hard drive activity. And here's your keyboard. Now, um, the key, I have been using this laptop for about a month, and you've already noticed that there's skin oil on the keyboard. Now, I'll go over some of the things. I, I well, I I really like this laptop overall, but there are certain things that I would really uh, want Dell or Alienware to change because. They're very annoying, and um, you know it's. Uh, <laughs> I have to constantly be on a lookout for those things. Now, <clears throat> let me actually turn on the laptop here, and we can go through the specs. Uh, the laptop initially came with a one terabyte solid, uh, hard drive, and actually uh, 80 80 gig Intel solid state, or I guess M SATA drive. I did replace the one terabyte hard drive with a Crucial M4. Uh, 256 gig. There we go. So let me log in here real quick. All right. Now the screen is fantastic on this laptop that's one of the things that really impressed me about this display the screen quality is amazing uh, it's a 1080p screen IPS um, but the screen quality it's really vibrant uh, I don't know if it's really good with whites but with darker colors it's very very nice it really uh, it really stands out um, screen is very sharp and since it's a 14 inch the pixel uh, density is very high, or I guess you can say pixel per inch. Uh, density is very high. All right, let me pull up uh, the system menu here. I'm running Windows 8 on this. I, actually, it came with Windows um, Windows 7 by default, 7 Ultimate, I believe, by default. But um, <coughs> through my university, I was able to get uh, Windows 8 fairly cheap. And down here, I'll show you what I basically will be using this laptop for. I have my um, 
I have Office 2013, pretty basic stuff. I mean, you don't need something like this for Office 2013. I also run uh, MATLAB uh, pretty heavily because uh, I'm a math major and a lot of my things are done using MATLAB. iTunes for syncing my iPhone and downloading music and whatnot. And um, also, I will be running uh, SA SAS on it for, um, for analytics. And uh, I think this would be a good machine for that, even though it lacks the memory. Uh, I would like to have 16 gig, but you know, so far it has 8, I might upgrade it, uh, upgrade it to 16. Uh, I'll see how SAS runs on this, and uh, depending on what kind of performance I get, I will upgrade it to 16 gigs. Now you do see that the, la the laptop does illuminate, um, this Alienware logo illuminates, and um, if you download the Alien FX software, this will actually illuminate in 16 different colors. Uh, the keyboard is backlit. Let me actually uh, close the curtains so you can actually, or the blinds I guess, you can uh, see clearly how much it illuminates. Alright. So as you can see the illumination is pretty high. Uh, the trackpad also illuminates and this backside also illuminates but um, they are only active if you have the Alien FX software installed. Or I guess configured as well. <clears throat> and the sides also illuminate as well. I actually don't understand why they would illuminate the sides here, but I guess if it if it um, looks cool, you know, it doesn't. I would I would actually turn it off. I would actually turn off the Alienware logo and the sides off. But you know, it's not a deal breaker. All right, so let's open up those lines again. All right, there we go. <coughs> Now the trackpad and the keyboard have really nice feel to them. I really like the keyboard and the trackpad and the buttons. Uh, the keys are very keys are I believe soft touch, so they are pretty uh, easy to work on, and the feel is really good. Nothing like a mechanical keyboard, but again, when you do press the button, it does give you some good feedback. Uh, now before we go into the hardware, though, I do want to tell you what I really don't like about this laptop. And I think a lot of uh, the owners will agree um, with me here. Now, this section here, this is a rubberized section. It's great for working. And if you're typing for longer periods of time, it's great for that. The problem is that it's a dust, it's an oil magnet. So if I just put my hand here, or if I keep my uh, palms here for a while, it will basically just get stained like that and then I have to clean it um, you know uh, every day I mean it just drives me crazy like look at this here 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 I believe this is some sort of spill or something like that some fluid spill but it is very um, it is it does um, grab oils and liquids uh, very quickly so that's one drawback and same thing with the keyboard the keyboard is very sensitive to uh, skin oil so if you look over here on the keys you can pass it you can actually see my uh, finger patterns as well yeah so those are two things I would like to um, you know I would like to see changed uh, maybe make this non rubberized still comfortable you know uh, maybe add a little bit of plastic to these sections here where people usually put their uh, palms or wrists over here and that will and keep the rest of the laptop rubberized I mean that would be that would be kinda nice the trackpad is pretty nice it does not get dirty very easily so that's great I like that <coughs> and the screen section actually the screen is not glossy it is not so again it's wonderful it does not uh, grab a lot of uh, oils from your fingers or your skin which is good. All right, so here let's go through the system uh, configuration here, or I guess uh, not configuration, but uh, hardware. Okay. So as you can see, this um, this laptop is an i7. Um, you know, well, this laptop has an i7 processor, 4700. Um, you know MQ CPU at 2.4 uh, gigahertz I do know that when um, 
with a turbo boost it will go up to 3.4 uh, memory is 8 gigs uh, 1600 and I guess that's just the computer name and whatnot so let me actually pull up something else here okay let's look at the system okay device manager now um, okay so audio so let's actually um, go through this section here uh, because some of the things I would like to point out uh, for people who are interested in buying this laptop so if you pull up the audio section it actually uses um, Realtek uh, built-in audio the speakers are actually by Klish uh, they are pretty famous for making uh, home theater um, speakers and they're pretty famous for making uh, cinema theater speakers and some high-end stuff as well so the audio, the speakers are through them. The uh, hardware to drive the audio is through uh, Realtek. Now the audio is phenomenal on this laptop. It's very, very good. Let me actually uh, play a music file. Open up iTunes here. Now I don't have any audio mod modifications on. Everything is stock. You know I don't like to boost uh, speaker volume to the max or or bass to the max. It's just not my thing. And I don't know how well this camera will capture this audio, but um, so let's actually play this. And it does have a built-in subwoofer. It's pretty small, I'm sure, maybe like two inches or two and a half inches. But the auto is very clear on this uh, laptop. I'm not sure where the other one is. Let's follow this a little bit. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> okay, so the audio is from uh, again Klish and Realtek. Batteries, let's not go in batteries here. The battery is actually internal if you're wondering, so let's not replace Well, it is replaceable if you open up the battery, if you open up the back of the laptop and uh, follow the instructions provided by Dell. Bluetooth is actually Qualcomm uh, AR3012, Bluetooth 4.0. So this drives, we have the light on, I guess it's actually the Intel model, 80, 80 gig M SATA. And then I have the Crucial M4 256, um, 256 gig SSD. Display, this actually has the NVIDIA Optimus technology, so it actually has multiple display, um, display hardware. You have the graphics 4600, and this is built on the, the chip we have in the computer, the processor, the CPU. And the second one we have, this is actually built on the motherboard. It's actually the NVIDIA GT 750M. Again, if I were to buy this laptop for gaming, I would have either gone with uh, M17 from Alienware. Uh, they give you the option for um, for a 780M or a 880M, but again, I don't find those cards to be sufficient uh, when you need to turn on all, uh, <coughs> I guess when you need to turn on all the options, uh, quality options in your game and get, you know, 60 frames solid. I do like to run my games on 60 frames. That's why, you know, my main computer actually has uh, GTX 780 classified, uh, TI classified, uh, highly overclocked. 
So uh, I do like to get, at, and I game at 1080p as well over here. So uh, I do like to get 60 frames, uh, you know, constant. Uh, CD, DVD, ROM drives. I believe this is a Hitachi uh, DVD ROM drive. These are just your uh, regular devices that are built onto the motherboard, or I guess connected to the motherboard. Uh, let's scroll down a little bit. Okay, imaging devices. This is going to be any kind of imaging device that's with the camera. We have the integrated webcam. Keyboard is going to be the standard keyboard. Memory is going to be uh, technology devices, so it's the SD card reader. Myosin keyboard, this should be Synaptics. Monitors, we have the generic monitor. Uh, this is again a 1080p monitor. Uh, now this laptop does come, um, so as, as, as far as the video card and the screen goes, you can actually buy uh, a, a, a low resolution screen and a higher end video card. The most Alienware offers in this laptop right now in the video card department is a GTX 765M. Um, it's a good card for low to medium, you know, uh, low to medium gaming on a lower resolution, but not a 1080p. I don't think that would be sufficient uh, for that. Now, network adapter. This uses the Killer NIC. So you have the Bluetooth uh, device, Bluetooth. Then you have the Killer E2200 gigabit Ethernet controller and the Killer Wireless N1202 network adapter. Um, I don't know, people make a big deal about Killer network products. I'm not really, I, I'm i not sure. I mean, uh, I know that in some games, couple of, uh, I guess, couple of, I guess, <laughs> um, your ping does make a difference, but I don't know if it's going, if your ping going from 20 to 30, a millisecond will be that big of a or 30 to 20 would make that big of a difference I'm not an expert I could be wrong uh, but again I don't know I mean it this card does you know prioritization of packets and whatnot so again I'm not too uh, sure about how efficient this is I guess you have to YouTube some of the videos where they do a comparison print queues obviously I don't have anything attached right now as a printer so nothing is in print queues <laughs> Uh, processors, as you can see, this is the Intel i7 4700MQ. Now, this processor does support hyper-threading, so you're actually seeing eight. So that, so uh, there's eight uh, instances of of the threads that I guess that show up here. But one is actually a physical processor. Uh, well, I guess a physical core, and one is actually uh, an extension of that core virtualized. So, uh, programs like MATLAB, uh, Mathematica, um, some Adobe programs as well, they, they like parallel computing, so this is actually beneficial if you do, you know, uh, video editing, audio editing, if you do work with mathematics, um, it works out pretty well. Um, again, if you want to know the difference between uh, a parallel computer, you know, uh, how parallel computers our parallel processing works. I can give you a pretty good overview since it kind of runs in my domain, but I would actually encourage you to look up videos or lectures on YouTube for people who are interested. Uh, SD host adapters. Now, this is actually, I'm not sure. I guess this is just a chip that's controlling um, the SD card controller. I'm not sure what that might be. Software devices. This would be, um, you know, emulators um, that you will see. Now you have your sound, video card, game controllers. I'm not going to expand this because you will see a lot of things that we are not going to be using. Storage is going to be just your uh, standard storage controller that's built on the, on, the, on the motherboard. Most of them are Intel. And system devices, this is actually Intel management, um, you know, Intel management controller where it pulls up everything for you that's on the motherboard and how it's being controlled. If you notice, it'll just give you a long list of things. Uh, again, if you are interested in learning more, I would highly recommend um, opening, um, I guess, watching a YouTube video in regards to that. Now, again, uh, with the performance um, for the applications I run, the performance is pretty decent. Um, I'm, I had a i5 
second gen notebook before with a dual core processor, no hyper threading. So if you run some of the tests with uh, MATLAB or Mathematica where it calculates the time of how long uh, and uh, how long a problem took, the problem, the same problem on that laptop compared to this one, this is significantly faster. Not almost double, but I would say, uh, you know, the difference is 30, 35 to 40 percent more, uh, more a decrease in calculation time while running, uh, running cooler and lower on a lower clock speed.